Um, and uh, uh, thanks for the opportunity, really, uh, to share, I guess, what's going to be a whistle-stop um, journey, really, of the last um, two, two to three years. Um, so we are in the fortunate position of being both a uh, <coughs> pioneer and also um, an early adopter for the Maternity Transformation Programme. So um, really, I'm going to go back in time about three years, and, uh, and our journey started with a poignant conversation. And it was a poignant conversation with a local woman who asked our commissioners, um, were maternity services uh, safe? And they answered the question and said, well, yeah, of course they are. And she said, well, how do you know? And they said, well, we just know, don't we? And it actually started off a chain of conversations, not only with commissioners, but with providers, uh, which led to us to start to look at uh, data, uh, to look at data across our services. Um, at the time, uh, we had a very hospitalised uh, model of care, so 10 providers um, across Cheshire and Merseyside, eight of them obstetric-led, uh, very, very little uh, in the way of choice and personalisation. And when we started to look at the data, uh, we had a lot of unwarranted variation. So uh, we looked at clinical outcomes, and uh, then we started to look at public health outcomes as well. So kind of really tra tracking back um, why were our clinical outcomes so bad, and actually when we looked at, I guess, uh, the, the health of our population, uh, we were really looking at uh, a crisis uh, in the future. So we came together uh, as maternity services and commissioners uh, and, and started our own maternity review just prior to the uh, national maternity review. And um, when we started to talk to our uh, women and families, uh, which is one of the key things that we, that we started off with, um, we uh, really uncovered... Um, I guess variation as well, and um, it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't a good uh, it wasn't a good read really. Um, it wasn't a pleasant experience because actually the majority of them had um, very very different experiences, even within the same within the same trusts. Uh, lots and lots of confusion, anxiety, uh, poor outcomes. But actually, uh, even where there was a, a good outcome, a very poor experience. So we kind of brought everybody together and uh, we created a shared vision um, and that was a shared vision for maternity and also for children's services <laughs> as well because the impact of what was happening in maternity services was really impacting on our neonatal and also on our paediatric services um, too. So we came together and uh, formed a collaboration. So it's the Women and Children's um, Partnership for Cheshire and Merseyside, and partnership is absolutely key. Uh, that is commissioners, providers, and all of our networks, including public health and local authority too. So we've got a shared vision with, our, with people. So our population right at the center of it, and everything else forms around that. And I guess from that, um, our partnership was born, but actually our local maternity system uh, came out of this, probably before we were talking about local maternity systems. So that was with a shared vision. And what we looked at is we looked at our women and our babies, but actually we looked at everything in its entirety. So we looked at families, uh, we included men, our dads and our partners, um, and also um, the local community, looking at intergenerational, because if you're from Merseyside, basically you do as your mum or your <coughs> nan tells you, because that's what they did. And so it's really trying to break some of those cycles um, and actually get the support of those generations as well. And I, absolutely, we couldn't do it without our workforce. So really, really trying to bring our workforce um, along with us, making sure that they're a key part and parcel of our programme team and setting up uh, uh, networks. So we set up a maternity network right from the outset, which brought together all of our midwives, all of our, our obstetric colleagues, and all of those interdependent services as well. And our vision really is around, it's about, uh, it's about safety, it's about uh, equity, it's about high quality. Um, and really it's about uh, delivering the best experience that we possibly can to our families and actually enabling our workforce to do that. Um, so we came together and then obviously the National Maternity Review came out and actually the recommendation in that really kind of bore the same, uh, resembled really what we'd found uh, both locally. But actually what it gave us, it gave us just a bit more punch really in terms of what we, what we wanted to do. And uh, we were really, really lucky uh, to actually become a pioneer, first of all, and then also an early adopter. And what that gave us, it gave us a national mandate, uh, not only so uh, our commissioners were kind of signed into it, um, and our chief executives were, but this kind of really, really gave us the impetus that we had to do it, and we had to do things differently and get things done. And a key part and parcel of that was looking at our model of care, which was very, very uh, obstetric-led, hospitalised, and we weren't offering that choice. So actually, what could we do to offer women more choice across um, our patch? 
So what we did is we started to inspire and do things differently, really. It wasn't a case of uh, what we're going to do is we're going to, you know, um, change the face of our landscape overnight. Mm. Uh, it was really about uh, trying to kind of really look at, look at what was being offered, explore kind of why that was. And so we started to use different approaches. So one of the key things I did was I went around all the commissioners and looked at their commission and plans and intentions and looked at where maternity was on it. Um, it didn't feature. Um, I also looked at where uh, perinatal mental health was. I asked commissioners, they said, oh, don't worry, we've got it sorted. I had a look, absolutely not, not in the slightest. So what we did is we put on a play, uh, a local woman uh, had written it about her story of uh, perinatal mental health, and uh, we packed out a theatre, we invited everyone, the great and the good, and we oh, said, you know, here you are, let's, uh, let's listen, let's listen to our local women. And um, I have to say, there wasn't a dry, eye, uh, dry uh, eye in the house, but also what it did is it really led to some change, it led to people coming together, and I'm really pleased to say that in terms of Cheshire and Merseyside, um, a joint bid went in to actually really, really change the face of the perinatal uh, mental health landscape, and uh, we were one of the first waves to get funding for uh, an inpatient unit for mother and baby, uh, which was fantastic, and that's really, really kind of uh, raised the profile of that also did a lot of work around kind of women's women's issues that help uh, women's agenda but also looked at other initiatives around public health how do we work with schools how do we work with our community assets local sports clubs um, and really really try and anchor them into the community and get some key public health messages about trying to create um, a healthier environment um, for our families but also trying to get to women as early as possible in pregnancy if not before about some key messages uh, in pregnancy which can actually uh, achieve uh, better outcomes. So we were one of the first um, areas in the country to adopt the Baby Box program, <coughs> which was very, very much about uh, 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 health uh, care initiatives and uh, key messages. It wasn't about a safe sleep uh, message, uh, we'd never do that, but it was actually about really reaching them early and also parity at birth. It was a, it was a, it's a universal offer across Cheshire and Merseyside and our women and our midwives love it because actually, do you know what? It shows that we're invested in our future generation and that we actually care. So whether you're a commissioner, whether you're a member of the uh, maternity team, it shows that we care. And then a key one for us as well was how are we going to change the landscape in terms of choice? So for, for us, we don't have a freestanding midwifery uh, led unit. Uh, we had very few uh, alongside midwifery units and actually those that we did have weren't very well uh, utilised. So I do remember having a... Um, I think it was a, a, a text conversation uh, with, with Claire, uh, Claire Matthews, who's here today. And um, I just said, am I nuts? Or what about a pop-up MLU? You know, <coughs> really, really to try and test the concept, the feasibility. And uh, she came back to me and said, no, 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 you're not. It's great. We can do this. We can do this together. And I remember, uh, you know, real excitement and frenzy from, from kind of us and a few others. And then real kind of, um, I guess, confusion and um, I think a, a real sort of disbelief from others that we could do this and we could really kind of test it out um, and I will come on to that because we have done it um, and it is a su success but also things like social prescribing so uh, bringing the wellness back into pregnancy rather than illness uh, really really trying to kind of um, engage our families in the local community and all that it has to offer not about prescriptions in terms of drugs but actually about how can you join um, and reduce some of that anxiety and social isolation and really those are key key messages at all times engaging with our family groups as well so we were quite lucky to have some some really good uh, groups out there but again very inconsistent and a bit hit and miss um, and as a pioneer we were we were the first area in the country to introduce the personal maternity care budgets and boy was that a challenge um, because actually it is a notional budget mm -hmm. and actually we couldn't offer choice because we didn't have choice of uh, we didn't have choice to, to start with but we went with it and actually what what it showed us was um, was really kind of the the advantages of having a, uh, a a really key discussion with your midwife really really early on discussing the pathway and uh, that joint decision making and laying out for a woman right at the start what she can expect and what she's entitled to in her pregnancy and continuing to revisit that so that's where our personalized care plans came from as well so you know i probably disagree a little bit with james in terms of mentioning the money our midwives are very 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 skeptical about that they didn't even know uh, what uh, 
the, the tariff payment was, uh, let alone to have that conversation with the women. So the jury's out on that. They also, some of them said, do you know what, we've got enough to think about in pregnancy, we don't actually want to make some of those decisions. Um, so we are being evaluated and we are evaluating and uh, we, will, we will go on trying. And uh, innovation and technology as well, absolutely at the heart of what we're trying to do because we're not going to transform um, unless we actually really provide um, you know, uh, services at a woman's fingertips. So in terms of personalised care records, we've been working uh, to develop our own um, our own uh, web uh, and uh, app technology, which uh, to be fair has been brilliant. It's been a great journey for us. We've done this absolutely with our women and our workforce and our families. We've tested it out about what they want and what they need. So we've now got digital uh, personalised health records. Uh, we can uh, tr pro uh, track progress for a woman um, in pregnancy and postnatally. And also dads and partners can also log into this as well, which is really important. So they get a personal care plan, uh, which they can download or they can have as a, as a live document and access to information when they need it. So not just for the woman, but also for the maternity team. And it is about that team as well, that team approach. So not just one midwife, it is actually a team approach. Uh, we produce a directory of services for Cheshire and Merseyside. And again, God, that was a painful experience, trying to get everybody to put uh, the information in one place without, be, uh, without it becoming a, a contest in terms of who offered what uh, better than the other. <laughs> and from that as well, we've created a single point of access so women can now access online um, where all services are and actually self-refer to the one uh, within their locality or the one that's most appropriate to them, obviously to be risk assessed then uh, by a maternity team. So we had a very, very big ambition at the start of it, and I can honestly say that we are achieving our ambition. Uh, you know, maternity services and maternity um, and children's services are right at the heart of our STP. We are a key work, work stream, and actually we've done, uh, we are being, basically, uh, we've made the most progress, um, and we have been brave, uh, but we've actually got it done, and other work streams are now looking at us in terms of what we're doing. So maternity voices, we've got seven of those, and uh, we've worked really hard to ensure that they, uh, we've got a chair which is a local woman, so the Maternity Voice Partnership is led by a local woman and it's a network, so it's Cheshire and Merseyside Maternity Voices Partnership but actually each of the localities have got their own which is fantastic. Um, as I said before, baby boxes, but actually uh, we've got our first pop-up birth centre which is um, which is in uh, Seacombe and with that as well as we were able to wrap a continuity of care team around that, so that was the first one to actually start to work with our workforce to show that it's it's not scary and actually there are outcomes to be had and we went with the willing so those who are actually most willing to do this who wanted to do it who wanted to work in a different way and i can honestly say i've never seen a group of midwives with more job satisfaction uh, than i have uh, and enthusiasm than i have with this this team in particular so as part of, part of our journey, we have delivered on better births. We've opened two additional alongside midwifery units. We've increased our births in, in those and the others that we already had. We've increased our home births across Cheshire and Merseyside, and we have opened Seacombe, which is in a children's centre, so a local authority Shore Start centre. Uh, people said we couldn't do it. Um, so big thanks to Claire, who was working with us at the time, and that team for the vision and the belief and actually getting on and doing that. Um, so basically the team are based there, all the antenatal appointments are there, health visitors are there, and um, it's a really great partnership with the local authority. It's actually um, really, um, it's brought together, as I have to say politicians of all different colours, but it's actually brought together that community. <coughs> and what that team have managed to do is they've managed to deliver more home births within the community in the last six months than they did in the last two years across the whole of Wirral, not just in that area. We've had 12 uh, births within the centre um, and the feedback from women and their families is absolutely uh, fantastic. So I absolutely couldn't be, couldn't be prouder. And so on the back of that, we've now got interest from everywhere in terms of our women and children's hubs. And I'm really pleased to say that we've done a lot of work out in the community about what our families want, what our workforce wants. And it really, really is the art of the possible. So I've been working with the states, both from an NHS pers uh, perspective and local authority, and looking at buildings that are already out there, buildings that are already being paid for and that are underutilised and where there's void in them. So it makes absolute financial sense and a real win-win now. And uh, the good news is, is that we are going to open six hubs um, in the next few months, um, two of which will have birthing facilities in them uh, right from the outset and another two which will have uh, birthing facilities uh, within six months um, of them opening and uh, we are immensely uh, excited about that. We had a workshop this week and um, 
people are just uh, beside themselves really. So we are changing the shape and face of maternity services and children's services, so services for families out in the community right across Cheshire and Merseyside. And I think more importantly, what we're doing is we are really, really engaging with our, with our families, with our workforce. We don't do anything without actually including them. So co-production and collaboration is absolutely and utterly at the heart of what we've done, um, and it's what is making it a success. So we talked earlier about partners, partners partnerships uh, are absolutely key to this, but I think as well is, is the belief that we can actually change things, and it, we've never had uh, the opportunity that we've got now. So we've embraced it, and I'd like to think that as an early adopter and pioneer, we can help <coughs> others to actually embrace it as well. Thank you.